the lockdown is necessary to curb the spread of COVID-19. It is in view of this that government has decided to introduce further measures as follows. One, the lockdown will be extended from midnight on Friday, 17th April 2020 to midnight on 4th of May 2020. Effectively, the country will reopen on 5th of May 2020. During this period, movements within the whole country will be restricted. Over the past difficult weeks, I call on all Namibians to remain calm, to cooperate of the authorities in order to ensure that public order is not compromised. Allow the authorities to work unhindered and do not provoke them, but let me add here, other time I said do not provoke the officers and I saw one of them standing and saying, President said do not provoke us and show the AK, please officers. Let's be professional. These are not our enemies, these are our people. The Minister of Health and Social Services, Dr. Kalumbi Shangula, provided the reasons for the lockdown extension, one of which is to prevent community transmission of COVID-19. The current lockdown in Comas and Erongo regions has not been efficient. There has been a breach of interventions with implications for potential community spread within the regions with confirmed cases with the risk of wider spread in the entire country. I will give a few examples of this breach. For example, our case number nine was diagnosed on the 25th of March. That is two days before the lockdown came into effect. The case had a total of about seven secondary contacts outside the nuclear family. These cases were discharged from quarantine without extended laboratory testing. There is therefore a small but practical risk that some of the asymptomatic cases discharged from quarantine might be infectious, thus needing an extended period beyond the quarantine period to conduct surveillance to rule out possible infection. Case number 15. Case number 15 breached the self-isolation regulation while waiting for his results and was out and about in the community when the diagnosis was confirmed. Against the recommendation for not using public transport when seeking health care, the case took a taxi from his house to Robert Mugabe Clinic for admission to isolation on the 7th of April, 2020. There is a, poten a potential, therefore, that several contacts of this case may not be identified. And if these contacts became infected, it could potentially mean some community spread might have been seeded by this case. If the last contact to this case was on the 7th of April, this would mean that their incubation period will end up on the 28th of April. This is 20, 21 days after the, the, first con the last contact. This case was accompanied by three South African nationals who may still be within the country and their whereabouts are not known. A number of regulations on the state of emergency will remain, the Justice Minister says. What remains the same is that there will be no sale of alcohol during this extension.
uh, there will be no unnecessary movement from your home unless you go to the pharmacy, unless you go to the shop to buy food, um, or unless you're essential services. The only difference now is whereas we restricted the movement in and out of Thomas and Erongo, we are now extending that restriction of movement to the entire country. As part of the extensions, all the regions will be divided into zones with law enforcement expected to work out the modalities.